Starting off, when you first got the call to be involved with the project, how much did you know about the backstory of Richard Williams, Venus and Serena and the coach, obviously, was that something that you were familiar with or were you just learning about it as you learned about the project? No, when I read the script, I didn't know. I knew that there, that, you know, Venus and Serena's father had been their coach and that they were very close and he was very involved in their careers. I did not know this story at all. And um, when I read it, I couldn't believe it was real. And then I went and read some books about it and, you know, read about Richard's life and how he got to where he got. And it's just, you can't, you know, if this was a, not a biographical story, you'd never believe it was true. Um, it's just, it, it blew my mind. So I, I was dying to be a part of it. Since this is something, you know, when you're doing something that is based on actual people, is there a different approach for you in that? Or did you get a chance to talk to anyone involved about their role? Yeah, I, you know, when I, it's a little bit of a different approach when you're, when you have a, when you're playing a real character. Sometimes if the character is very famous, you know, like everyone knows this person, then you have a certain responsibility to find how did that person speak and, you know, move and, and to be like them without doing an impersonation. That's why I, I didn't face that challenge on this one because Paul Cohen, who was, um, you know, the, the first professional coach that Richard Williams hired uh, for Venus initially, um, you know, Paul's not a world renowned person. So, but I did have the advantage. I wanted to get it right. And um, I did reach out to Paul himself and I found his email address and I wrote him and, and he was just incredibly generous with his time. And then it's like, um, it, it's a real gift because I, uh, you get something you don't get when you're playing a fictional characters. I could really talk to him about his life his, he gave me so much insight into his approach to coaching tennis, about his relationship with Venus and Serena and the family and specifically with Richard. Um, so that was just great, you know, and it was a very well-written script we had. So a lot of um, my instincts about how I wanted to play Paul were born out of reinforced by what I was hearing from the real guy himself. Uh, so yeah, it was, it, it's a real luxury, you know, and then you have the little pressure of like, well, I hope he thinks I got it right, <laughs> you know, so I was glad that he was happy with the movie. So Paul and Richard have an interesting relationship, obviously, mm -hmm. because Richard is a very specific type of individual. Mm -hmm. So what did Paul say to you about that relationship at the time and how it evolved? Yeah, that's a great question. Paul, you know, Paul said, Richard and, 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 and Paul had a very contentious relationship um, because he hired, you know, Paul, he brought Paul on board to really coach his, you know, to, to professionalize their, the girls' game. And yet he kept inserting himself, disagreeing with what Paul was doing. So they would get into it with each other a lot. But what was great, and, and Paul really helped me understand, was it was all in good fun and he, they really respected each other. So it was never acrimonious. It was sometimes probably a little infuriating because Richard's so headstrong. But I think that Paul really, really admired the kind of father that Richard was. He respected the op. He knew that you know, uh, uh, you know that this was a very white sport, and that you know the what Richard was trying to do by bringing these young black girls into this sport was. Um, incredibly challenging and difficult and he really wanted he supported that and so um, I just think he really admired and respected Richard so uh, even though they get into it with each other and both of them are very headstrong individuals they they did it kind of with love you know I mean Paul was really embraced as a member of the family I think you know at least in his view and he felt that he was very close friends with Richard <laughs>